So are we on the right track? You know, I, I made the point that since 2006, that ratio per 100,000 has gone from 66 down to 58, which is quite a big percentage move. Are we on the right track to get back to where we were 15 years ago, albeit in two or three years? Uh, that's a good question, Nigel. I think, unfortunately, not. I think the problem is that doctors, when they train as GPs, then don't want to work full time as GPs. They find other roles in medicine or elsewhere. Uh, some leave medicine entirely. So, so I think we have that problem in the future as well, where doctors will be trained as GPs, but they either won't work full time or will find some other role in medicine to do instead. So, sadly, I think we're not on the right track. I think we'll be in this problem for some time to come. Right. And of course, quite a few people who train here medically then go and work overseas. Uh, should we not, I mean, given the investment that as a country that we make in people who want to become medical professionals, uh, shouldn't there sort of be some, some sort of clause, some contract that they give us a certain number of years of service? Uh, well, the doctors do often come back to the UK after working overseas, so they bring back that experience. I think that has been discussed in the past. But then if, if doctors, why not, you know, dentists, why not science teachers, why not math teachers, where we're all, you know, we're all short as well. So I think once that we open this kind of, uh, you know, question, people will ask, well, why not other professions where we're short as well as, as well as doctors? So I think it's a hard thing to actually implement in practice. And doctors qualify now with no, I, I, look, as well, you know. <clears throat> I understand that, but I mean, it seems to me that our reliance on foreign born doctors, foreign born GPs, is pretty extraordinary. I mean, one in four GPs operating in the UK, you know, was qualified overseas, got their medical qualifications somewhere outside this country. And I wonder whether, I wonder whether what we're actually doing is we're taking GPs and probably other medical professions away from countries where they're possibly needed even more than we need them. Yes, we are doing that, Daniel. As you mentioned, it's hard to get a medical school. I think there's a strong case for increasing our medical school places uh, quite substantially because uh, people want to train as, as doctors, but you know, currently it's about one in ten will get a place in medical school. So many, many people who are well qualified can't get a place to, to train as a doctor. So I think, yes, we need to train more and rely less on overseas trained professionals, uh, both in hospitals and in our GP surgeries.